day nine. <laughs> um, just here drink some water, warm water. I love daddy. This is not my youth. <clears throat> it's my homies. Shout out Ken. One of the dopest dads I know. Uh, shout out all fathers out there. Shout out my father. Uh, earthly and earthly. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, yesterday, I was angry. You could tell. I'm still angry. But um, with time, I've been able to... Uh, the day has given me time to process my thoughts and maybe say it in a more eloquent, express myself in a more eloquent way. Um, that may offend less people. I don't really give a fuck if you were offended, um, but my motive isn't to offend. My motive is to encourage um, and to reform. You know? Uh, so, first off, my motive are selfish. They're selfish. They're, they're to they're to motivate and they're to reform, but they're to motivate myself and reform myself. This process right now um, is not public. I'm doing this on the low. I don't know if I'm going to uh, make this public, but I, f I feel just, um, I wanted to a couple days ago because I, I really saw a lot of people um, by the posts that they were posting. It seems like they were on the same or similar path to myself. And I always know it's difficult when you're by yourself learning about things to implement them because you're not sure if it's really truth or just something so uh, so out of reason that it's really illogical to implement at all. But sometimes these things that are out of reason are just because they were not shown to us by people who we respect to give us reason right we expect our government to give us reason um but we notice consistently that our government doesn't we expect the media to give us reasons but we notice often that they don't so we've almost built up such a blind faith towards these entities that is really difficult to take any type of opposing words from any other source if they don't have the grandioseness of these original entities that we took our first uh, piece of data from. And first is always important, man. First impressions, you know, for, like first, there's, there could only be one first. Like, it doesn't matter how many girls I smash, there'll only be one girl who I smash first. Like, you know what I mean? And that's that's it's 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 just across the board and everything right um a lot of people love russell brand They're like yo russell brand's so smart but they don't listen to the guy like russell he says a lot of intelligent things and he says it in such an eloquent way that people like him they can't get angry at him they're like of course he's talking sense look at him he's saying it in such a motivating self uh selfless way but we 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 know that life is deeper than just what sounds and feels good we know that there is an up and down and the up and down of uh of the points that russell brand if you don't know who the guy is just go google it but the points that he he makes but don't get but he doesn't get detailed enough with is the actual issues underlining why people aren't being spiritual there is a there is a there is almost an immediate understanding of presence and you can only truly understand presence when you tap into spiritual when you tap into things that you cannot see so uh it's hard for me to explain without trying without making this video forever so i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna throw to some examples all right so the presence 
of the NBA is felt worldwide, right? But that presence was not felt worldwide until a specific individual with a specific skill set was given the cosign to work how he wanted to work within that entity. And it gave that entity, in, in a sense, the next level of spice. I'm talking about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's a black guy. There's never been any white guys ever um, doing what he was doing. And there's only been white guys since with the ability to do a couple of the things that he could do. Some of the things. You know, you got like the professor who dresses up as Spidey. And then I'm like, yo, man, I could block your shot 10 out of 10 times and I'm not even the greatest ball player. But he presents himself in a manner that can be um, appreciated by the world because he covers his identity and says, look at me, I'm just a dope guy, right? But I feel dopeness um, is not about replicating something that's dope. Dopeness is about innovation. Like, innovation is dope to me. And innovation is really dope when the person who did it is getting the credit. So, ethically, there's a lot of things that the white culture pushes. They push taking credit for things that they didn't do. Um, not saying white people. I'm saying white culture. Understand, I grew up in Canada, um, one of the whitest places on the planet. Maybe second to Germany or something like that. You know what I mean? Like we have a large white conglomerate. The the black populace here is like less than like nine percent, six percent, or some bullshit like that. You get what I'm saying? So in my regular dailies, I see white people all the all the time. But in my regular dailies, I don't deal with white people all the time. Um, but that's because we're kind of segregated here too. Because um, in school. Uh, white teachers, white friends, white students, you know, multicultural, right? Um, high, high school, though, it was just white. I was the only black guy in my whole grade. So it things got real there. And a lot of the biases I have from that experience, I have had to learn to let go because I was the only, I was the only black face. Like, I represented everything good and bad about black people to every white face that did not know a black person prior to meeting me or did not know or have any close relations to a black person prior to meeting me. So I was a, I was a first impression for many black pe uh, white people, just in general. There, we have to A, recognize there is a difference between white and black. Just like there's a difference between blind and seeing, there's a difference between cripple and healthy there's a difference between and i know these examples look like i'm making a difference of inferior and superior and yeah that is the reality that based on a specific playing field your same attributes will either put you in a position of superiority or inferiority so when i look at the attributes of the average black person anywhere on the planet we naturally have skin that reflects a lot of the dangerous things that the sun kills a lot of people on this planet for. It just naturally. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're, like, we're not dark because the sun made us dark. So get that out of your head. Because when I go into the sun, I get darker. Just, just like everyone else. But the black, black motherfucker in the middle of Nigeria. Dark as my hair. Don't got to worry about the sun at all, man. He out there in the sun like, well, I'm not saying he ain't sweating, but he's not getting darker. So if we get darker in the sun, why are we just calling it melanin? Things that get darker from heat, that's normally concentration of carbon. Oh, fuck. It's like it's about to be 10 minutes. It's, I go long in these videos. Um, look, man, back to the NBA. The NBA would have had no spikes without black folk. Like, imagine no MJ, no Iverson, no Kobe, no LeBron. You know what I mean? No Magic Johnson. No, like, come on, come on, come on. It would not be entertaining. If white people were saying, like, yo, let's watch white people do stuff. 
Anytime they do, it's not entertaining. Golf was not entertaining until Tyga jumped in. Gymnastics was not entertaining until that young 14-year-old girl started winning goals like crazy. Tennis was not entertaining until Serena and her, and her sister Venus started kicking ass. You get what I'm saying? And I don't care if it was entertaining to white individuals prior to black folks getting in the ring. Well, white, the white populace don't really care until black folks is in it. And it seems like the only time black folks are allowed to be in it is when they're going to get a certain level of pay grade to ensure that they can't truly take over that industry. But you understand that we don't do that. And that's, that's the point I'm making with this video. If you feel offended because you feel I'm being black superior, black supremacy and all this great stuff, great, good. But the reality is, anytime black people have had things of ownership, we share it. All we ever do is share. Share, 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 share. Um, there's a lot of confusion between uh, what it even means to be black. So, it's not an explanation that I can give to white people. You're not black. And, and understanding that there is a difference doesn't make you less, just makes you different. In the things that you guys bring, in the natural ways you think, and I'm not saying you as in every white person. Please. This shit's going to get so misconstrued. Like, I don't care. I really don't care, though. This video, I may let it go five more minutes. Try. Um, with, with the people who uh, are very wealthy and of white complexion, the way they move because they they do not have to feel the burden of persecution of people of their same complexion. There's certain things that they are free to do when they reach a certain level of financial freedom. Um, because they know the infrastructure for capitalism is set and built up to keep individuals of their same complexion in positions of power. They don't really have to worry about saving bums on the street. So that's where you end up getting these white individuals who are living just as poor as black people. But the reality, if you look at the lineage of those white individuals and you look at the lineage of those black individuals in those same poverty situation, a lot of those white people have rich family. Hey, it's Mike. Speaking of, the, speaking of which, <laughs> I'm just uh, doing my daily vlog. It is fucking hot. I'm just, ex I'm explaining, because uh, the video's still gone. I am explaining. <laughs> what are you explaining? I am explaining the, the, physio the physiological differences between black people and white people. Okay. Remember when Denver was explaining how my legs, your legs, oh. and, and all that, that right? I'll, I'll leave any, any explaining about black and whites to the black guy on camera. <laughs> yeah, your, your bodies are, are mine, mine, I have a durable body. Yours, is, yours can be broken easily. Yes, mine can be broken easily because I don't have a lot of crap around me. <laughs> Yo, you got to see this shit in a second. Yo, time to get to work.